G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from the Byron Bay Observatory. Uh, I have a special announcement to make. I'm getting rid of the next dome, version one, and replacing it with the next dome version two. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that the observatory has gone through many different incarnations. At first, I didn't even have an observatory and I was setting up in the backyard. And then I got the sky shed pod, and then I replaced that with the next dome mainly because I just liked the more classic aperture, the opening of the dome, which really solved the problem that a lot of clamshell designs have where you hit the zenith if you're pointing straight up. And everything in my backyard to look at is best straight up. So the next dome really solved that for me and it added better automation. It has shutter control. I can control it all via ASCOM from inside. It really just improved the whole situation. But there was one fatal flaw with that design. The next dome version one had a little lip and that little lip was catching water and debris. So here's the roof flashing I used to prevent the water from just sitting in that gutter and that's worked pretty well. It's all been siliconed up and that's kept it safe from the worst weather in history, but uh, I think it's time for an upgrade. Now, all of those problems have been resolved with version two of the shutter. So today I have Diego and the team from Sidereal Trading. Sidereal. 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 Sidereal Trading and they're gonna help me with that job. I mean, we might do it today. We might just drink beers today and do it tomorrow. We'll see how we go. Anyway, my name is Dylan O'Donnell. You're watching Star Stuff. boys are back in town. Sidereal Trading are back and specifically Diego who, who you've seen in a previous video. It was uh, really just before the first COVID lockdown started. Uh, Diego and I were here um, installing the next dome roof on the observatory. Uh, so he was really my last contact with humanity before I disappeared into my little cavern. But uh, Diego's back today. So tell us a little bit about what's going on. Well, after we installed it, and then all this COVID thing happened, you found out there was a couple of issues with the material of your dome. And, and we had the worst weather in history ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what happened is after a conversation with uh, Next Dome, um, they agreed to supply a new dome for you. Cool. And uh, we want to make you happy. Thank and you. also on top of that, new automation board for, your, uh, for the rotation motor and for the shutter motor. And I also made you a nice and bling Whoa. board for inside of your dome. Put that up to the camera. That. Yeah, a bit of bling for Mr. Bling. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Dago. And uh, should we cut to a uh, montage of us doing lots of work set to some really cool music to make this mundane task seem more exciting than it actually is? <laughs> it will look like 30 seconds, but it's a bit of work. But we will find. Yeah. Let's do it. I don't claim to be the creator, but I'm a savior. I take the strange variables of human life and make something out of a crazy quilt that saves hundreds of lives. Thank you. 
and how does the observatory work? How is the dome connected to the mount? How does it all sync up? Uh, well, there's a little motor over there and that's the thing that's actually connected to the PC with the USB cable. The shutter up here, which opens and closes the door, that has to sit independent. So it's actually wirelessly communicating to the motor control. But the PC doesn't care what sort of dome it is. It just cares and has access to those variables, namely the degrees of rotation and the open and closed state. That's about it. From there, it needs to sync the position to the telescope so that when you move the telescope, the dome moves in the, in the right way. Uh, to do that, it needs a few more details. And those details are what's known as dome geometry. The first thing that your software, in my case, Sigs Generator Pro, needs to know is the radius of this dome. So I've got that plugged into the settings. Now, it also needs to know if this, in the middle, is dead center across the east, west, and north, south axis. So this is my north, south line here. And having measured it, I can put in the number of inches away from that center it is along the north, south line. There's also an east-west line along here, and I can put in the east-west offset into the settings. The final thing it needs to know is called the GEM offset, or German Equatorial Mount Offset. And that's really the distance between the midpoint of your OTA and the axis here. So you put that in in inches into your settings as well, and that makes it more accurate as it's going to chase the sky. Once that's all set up, really all you need to do is slave it to the telescope. So once the dome's connected in your acquisition software, tick the box to slave to the telescope and it should follow it around. And slew to Rosette Nebula. She's over there somewhere. As always, you're gonna need to tweak things. Also in my experience, I've found that different programs disagree with dome geometry. So you can plug all of these values in and they'll all give different results. So again, a little bit of jiggery-pokery, a little bit of fiddling with the settings can help there. Best to do it in the day so that you can do this before you're freezing cold out in the dark. Also, the next dome product is a little bit DIY. It's mostly there as a kit observatory. However, you may find yourself having to drill holes or shimmy different parts just to make everything fit snugly in your backyard. I'm lucky I have Diego from Sidereal Trading to do that for me and he's done it really well. Uh, but I do recommend this product. I do love this product and I do appreciate all the support from Next Dome as well. So thank you, Next Dome. I'll leave you guys with some images of other observatories that Sidereal Trading has set up around the region uh, and other happy customers. My name is Dylan O'Donnell. You've been watching Star Stuff. Remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die. Thank you.